On the 7th of December, a group called Free Speech Ireland held a public meeting. This was this was in response to the imminent coming into law here in Ireland of hate speech legislation. There were four or five speakers at this uh, meeting and it was recorded, put up on YouTube. Well, it was put up as each speaker got a short little video. I believe a link to one of these, and this is of Sharon Keoghan, who is a senator in the Irish uh, Senate, the Irish House of Lords, if you will. Now, these people, they spoke briefly, explaining very briefly what the effects of hate speech legislation might be, and they gave some personal comments, and that type of thing. <coughs> now, the problem I have with all of this is that none of these people came across as being serious people. Now, we all know what a serious person is. You will probably have met in your life serious people. You will be aware of serious people in politics or in business, whatever. And a serious person, well, this is another way of saying a dangerous person. You know, a serious person is someone you don't kick in the face. You don't try and make a fool of them. You don't take them for granted. You listen carefully to what they say and you take it seriously. Now, at this meeting, none of the speakers came across as serious people. They came across as weak people. They came across as inconsequential people. People who didn't matter, whose opinions didn't matter. The reason for this was that, well, let me put it this way. This was a golden opportunity for the people involved in Free Speech Ireland. It was a golden opportunity to make a statement. They could, for instance, have spoken directly to the President of Ireland, Michael D. Higgins. They could have told him that if he chooses to sign this bill into law, that he will be responsible for whatever violence might happen in the short term or in the long term as a result of this. They could have told him that if he signed this bill into law, he would no longer be the President of Ireland. He would be the President, the spokesperson, for the far left in Ireland. They could have taken this opportunity to, to speak directly to all of the political leaders in Ireland and to say to them that hate speech laws were unacceptable in a free and democratic society, that hate speech laws were oppressive laws, laws commonly used by dictator, dictators and totalitarian regimes. They could have taken the opportunity to say that they would not tolerate this, that they would, they would fight this to the nail and in the streets if necessary. They could, in short, have said serious things they could have made serious statements. Instead, they said nothing. It was just waffle, empty words. Now, what I say doesn't matter. I'm an ordinary, working class old man. But these people at this meeting, these were respectable people. They were middle-class people. They were professional people. 
They were people, if you like, from that section or that class of society who were actually bringing these laws in. They come from the same section of society that the leaders of these political, political parties do. They come from the same section of society as our president comes from. They are respectful people. Now, if they had put their foot down, if they had said, no, we will not tolerate this, that might have made a difference. That might have made our president think and think seriously before signing the piece of paper that deprives everyone in Ireland of their most basic and fundamental right. What these people might have said, it could have been important. Of course, it could have been ignored. But I don't think it would be ignored if respectable people, respected, respectable people who, so to speak, were, let's say, the liberal opposition and part of the regime, if people like that, respectable people, had said, no, no, you're not going to do this. This is wrong. This is wrong. And we will do anything we have to do to stop you. If they had said something serious like that, it might have had, had an effect. It might have inspired other people, other respectable people, to come out of the shadows and express their concerns. But these people did not come across as serious people. They came across as weak, 